do it right the first time. Yeah, sure, we've all heard it, but what does it really mean when it's your motto, your mantra, your pledge? For the sheet metal workers of Local 104, it means pride and confidence in everything they do, backed by the best training, the most up-to-date techniques, and a legacy of work that reaches the level of the artisan. Sheet metal is one of those industries that people rarely think about, but without it, they'd know it immediately. The work that these guys do in a few hours is going to live on with the house for 50 to 100 years. Keep water out of the houses to keep the houses warm or cool to keep the restaurants moving. Life would be brutal without sheet metal. People need air conditioning, people need heating, people need ventilating. Our houses would leak, water would run off the roofs unattended. Life would be brutal without sheet metal. It'd be very hot and very cold. It'd be brutal. <laughs> The apprenticeship training is a five-year training program. So not only are they getting classroom academic experience, but they're getting a practical application of that knowledge. All of them are qualified and trained in everything. They're cross-trained. They're going to get welding skills. They're going to get shop layout skills. They're going to get commercial application. They're going to get residential application, architectural metal installation, metal roofing. We do highly complicated jobs. It takes a very, very skilled person to do them. They have required courses that they must take within the sheet metal program in order to get their associate merit. In addition to that, the student can earn up to 16 semester units of credit for the actual learning on the job. You can't get this training anywhere else. We all talk about money, but time is really the thing that matters. We can deliver the product faster, better, quicker, and have it work right the first time. We had had a history in our school district of having jobs that were not on time, that were not on budget. Therefore, I began to explore and examine with Sheet Metal Workers Local 104 a project with a project labor agreement. And I can report to you that the job is on time, on budget, and has had no cost overruns today. In addition, we promoted local hire, so we were able to bring local people from the community and keep the resources there. There is a team approach to the project uh, to bring it in on time, under budget, uh, with high quality standards. The union takes care of any issues with our field guys, which are the union members, and we all work together. The human resources are handled by 104 and that works out really well for us. We get the benefit of having fully insured employees and happy employees who have a retirement plan and we don't have to manage it. Is that as our business goes up and down, they've got people uh, that are trained ready to go onto our job sites so that we can increase our rate of production to meet the market demand. You know, I always have that asset of being able to go to the hall and and get people to cover these jobs. They have a, a labor pool that is experienced and trained and qualified, and that's what we rely on. The end cost can be a lot more than just the initial cost of a little bit of labor savings by going to an unqualified, untrained workforce. People will bid a, will bid a project against non-union, non-union will get it, and it'll create a lot of problems because it's not done right. A builder that, uh, that we're working with right now is probably going to have to spend an additional $250,000 more to correct heating and air conditioning problems. Truly the, the best innovation that I uh, encountered was at the point when the uh, sheet metal workers took ownership of the drafting and the detailing of fabrication of parts and systems. And what it meant was not only were they drawing it, but they were taking responsibility for the detailing being right. That is unlike any other trade that I know of. Well, we have 104 employees also doing our CAD work, our computer-aided drafting and design, and it's worked out great because when you get a need for a shop drawing for fabrication or a shop drawing for installation, it should be drawn by someone who knows their stuff. They work so closely with systems and different designs of mechanical systems that their feedback is invaluable in terms of what works and doesn't work, not only for ourselves in terms of our qualities of contract providing that kind of feedback to clients, but in terms of uh, cost control. The trade is craftsmanship and that's what the union has been able to hold. You know, back when I went through the apprenticeship, I was taught that and you still see the young guys coming through that are learning that and they are true craftsmen. I'd have to say I'd put them up against anyone 
in any trade. Some of the things that they can do is really phenomenal. They made a commitment, it's their life, it's their profession. It's, it's where they go to work every day and they take great pride in that and it shows. I personally have taken this project from estimating it to, to the install. So whenever I'm driving around downtown, I can't help but stop and say, oh, we did that job, we did that job. And, and when we go into a building, I, I'm constantly looking at the ductwork and pointing it out. And my wife gets a little sick of it. I see what the union people go through long term, day after day, day in, day out. I always take some comfort in knowing that, you know, those guys are going to be uh, taken care of. Uh, they have done a service and done it well, and they're going to be treated uh, appropriately. And that's, that's they, they deserve that. People deserve that. Fair time, fair pay, fair treatment. Being back in the union has been a 200% better experience than working non-union. Their wages are posted. Their benefits are posted. Their work requirements and job safety requirements are posted. It gives them a sense of dignity and pride. What would life be like without sheet metal? If you haven't heard it before, it would be brutal. From roofs over our heads to the air that keeps us comfortable, from high-end industrial kitchen equipment to mission-critical high-tech clean rooms, sheet metal workers in Local 104 are a part of the engine that keeps us going, a part of the community with purpose, pride, and a knowledge that doing it right the first time is the only way to do it. You get one chance to do it and it has to be done once and done right. Do it once, do it right. Get it right the first time. Our reputation is based on the work that we put in. And the work we put in is done by Local 104 employees and it's done very, very well. That's the thing that's really enamored me to the, to the unions is the commitment to quality and the ability to perform, you know, time and time again. It's huge. Life would really be terrible without sheet metal. It would leave a big hole. It would be brutal.